is not visible, first and foremost. It's not visible. Is it correct? It's visible. I came to know that there is here, there is an heterogeneous group of people. Okay. I, whether I can converse a little bit in Tamil? No. 
Right? 
pedes ini kan tak gila sudah sekarang ini teman oke, kan, kan sudah mau harus say something what so far you have learned That is something I have to ask this question. So today you are going to get some kind of stuff related to how NLP is used in health. Okay, fine. So the opinions are not satisfied to the core of mine. Okay, anyhow. Yes. Can you please tell me? Because as I said, uh, for the past five days, we are discussing about what A, ML, everything. So on seeing this picture, can anyone tell me what is this picture is on? Yes? I got the answer from this side. A human brain. Absolutely correct. This is a picture of a human brain. Is it correct or not? Yes. So human brain basically here and this is divided into two uh, division I can say. One is left brain and the right brain. Left brain have certain kind of functionality, right? And the right brain have some kind of functionality. Can anyone please tell me what are the functionality that the left brain will have and what are the functionality the right brain will have? See, three, three comes through left brain or right brain? Right brain. Right brain. Right brain. Creativity. Right brain. Right brain. Right brain. Right brain. See, you have to know because A, artificial intelligence. Intelligence comes only through minds, not through hearts. So you have to know the understanding of our own brain. Right? You have to know your biological system. Right? Okay, then only it will be very clear for you. See, it's all the functionality or generally with respect to left brain and right brain. Say for example, any kind of mathematics, logic, price, words of thought, computations, everything, what the left brain. Okay? So whenever I am going to say what the creativity, imagination, everything is from right brain. Do you understand? Do you understand? This is biological science. Just I want to uh, motivate you towards the field of AA and throwing all these things. Then comes what the this particular diagram. I think uh, in the past, uh, that's why I said that I want to get some opinion. So whoever going to take something related to A, ML and DL, they will show this particular diagram. Right? So what is A? A means a superset. And inside the superset there will be a concept called ML, that is machine learning. Inside ML there is a concept called this water, deep learning like that. What is the objective of A? That is making the machine to think as a human. Right? Okay. Can you please tell me one test, the first test that has happened previously huh? to make the machine to think as a human? Anyone? Absolutely correct, sir. Right? It is a Turing test. Can you please tell me what is actually a Turing test? Yes, because that particular Turing test happened to human only. Not by using any some other thing. So a machine and uh, a really typewriter will be there and a human will be there. The machine is going to interact with the human. At a particular point of the time, the really typewriter doesn't know who is the human and who is the machine. Through some kind of chatbot like that. Do you understand? That is the first uh, experiment they have done with respect to A. That is the Turing test. Do you know the highest award in computer science? Turing award, absolutely sir. Right? Turing award is the highest award in computer science. On whose name this award is awarded? Alan Turing. Who is Alan Turing? No sir. The actually the invention of Alan Turing with respect to automata theory. Do you understand? I don't know how many of you know this particular uh, thing that is theory of computation. Before the invention of computer itself, the concept of computers we implemented through some kind of abstract in conceptual manner. Right? That is a thing related to Alan Turing, Turing test, Turing award. Okay, fine. So if I'm going to say A, yeah, that is I want to the I want to make the mission to think as a human. Simple. Right. Then what is ML? 
human. See, it is not necessary to write open for everything. See, if I want to make this uh, an, an, an efficient thing as common, what I have to do, I have to write it. Right? So, if I want to write a program, what I need? I want to have a knowledge base. So, if there is a knowledge base, then what I have to do? I have to do some kind of program related to reasoning. Right? So, two things are very, very important if you are going to write any A based program. One is knowledge base and another one is reasoning with respect to the knowledge base. Right? But always it's a bottleneck because whenever the situation differs, we have to again and again and again modify the program. Do you understand? It, it cannot be possible. Right? That's why we are moving to the area of ML. That we are not going to write explicit program, but from the data we are going to generalize. Right? From my past experience, I am going to predict the future. That particular element is called as water. Machine learning, simply learning from data. Right? Without data, it is, it is not at all possible to do any ML activity. So data plays a very, very vital role if you are going to carry out your ML based project. Right? Do you understand? Do you understand sir? That data may be a small data, a big data, a very big data. It's immaterial for us. Right? Okay. And uh, if it is a data, the features are very, very important. Right? Features. If you know clearly the features, and the algorithms works beautifully. If I don't know the features of the data sets, then only we have to move towards the other thing called as DL. That is deep learning. When there are enormous number of features, right? And uh, there is a there is no need to go for feature engineering. For that particular application only, we have to go to DL. So whatever may be the problem domain which deals with the images, right? We have to go to DL because images will have numerous features. You understand your participants? But say for example, if it's a medical diagnosis, uh, say for example, uh, diabetics. If I have handful of uh, features and clearly I know the features clearly, no need to go to water, DL. ML algorithm will give a good result. Okay? It is not necessary. If you want to diagnose a uh, diabetic patient, no need to go with respect to uh, DL. But the data is structured. That is, that is my next slide. Okay? Do you understand? I think I please, I think some of you are sleeping. Don't worry. Please, please wake up. Okay. Because uh, these are all the things that I am uh, touching that is discussed previously. So far I have not touched my topic of interest. Okay, Madam Shana. Yes. Why? What is the necessity for me uh, to sit in this FTP? Why you have to uh, listen all this lecture uh, carefully with those sleeping? How? Why? If the discussion is some question, we have to be you know, Yes, yeah, ML is going to move for another five years. Right? Okay. So if you are going to do our research in this field, that is a possibility to get a very good job like that. Some trust we have to possess. Then only there will be some input for this particular. Thing, right? So, why you are uh, choosing this particular thing? That is my question. Because it is related to A and ML. Nah? Why? There are a lot of things happening with respect to blockchain, with respect to uh, cloud. So why you have, you have chosen this particular thing? Research. Okay. Why you choose your research in this particular topic? Interest. How you got this interest? Very good. Reading some journals. So through some word of mouth, through your friends, or reading some journals, so some periodicals, you came to know that surely this particular uh, domain is going to play a very, very vital role. But apart from this thing, there is one particular, what I have to say, an organization, yearly wise, they will release one particular thing which shows what are all the technologies boom in this particular year? Which one will go towards the upward first? And what are all the things we lose its 
importance that is called as anyone? Just like journal periodicals. Have you heard about the Arnold type cycle? The Arnold type cycle. These real students, right? So for each technology, for each subject, government organization they release one kind of type cycle. There you will find out. See what are the various technologies used, boom, right? And which one will take the highest peak of inflation expectation? And that will be some drought also, right? Okay. So if you see this particular curve, most of the technologies are related to air, generative AI, explainable AI, right? Robotics. Everything. Most of the technology there is an application of AI tools. That is the purpose. Right? We are sitting in this kind of uh, FTP and uh, I am the speaker going to explain about what uh, NLP, how to NLP uh, with A level going to do it. Do you understand? Do you understand? Okay. So please, 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 after this session is over and after this day, so will you please search what are the various life cycles are there with respect to several technology. There is a life cycle for A itself. Right? Okay. If you want to see what are all the uh, technologies related to data science for another three years, you will see the periods also there. Right? Less than two years, two to five years, five to ten years. We can rely on government life cycle plan. Sir. Okay? Dar. Okay. You please mark it. Government life cycle Okay, fine. Still, I have not started my topic. Yes. So this is the one slide which captures everything related to this particular FTP. Right? I think uh, drug development, drug discovery, already given. Right? And medical diagnosis, whatever may be the uh, type of disease, we can uh, diagnose through the animal. Right? Okay. What of this all? Right? This all the various application of AI with respect to healthcare. But today my topic is related to what that. Medical diagnosis. Right? And most importantly, a lot of activities will be done here as also. Some behavioral devices. Right? We can take the data from whatever may be the devices which are carrying from that device through by means of sensor. We capture the data. Once we have the data, then we can do enormous analytics on that particular data. Yes. Now I am coming to slowly to my domain. That is, uh, diabetes of water, diabetes. So diabetics, everyone knows about diabetics. There are type 1 and type 2. It's not related to sugar, it is related to glucose. Right? Okay. But usually we will say in Tamil culture, sugar. Right? Okay. So correct matter. Okay. We are not going to talk about water, glucose. Because glucose and fructose are the two components which comes from uh, whatever may be the uh, carbohydrates, Whatever maybe you take, you are going to take, right? Okay, which will be broken down into glucose and fructose. And sucrose also, sucrose also there, right? But everything has to be converted into energy, right? That is a different story. If it is not converted properly, then only diseases will come. Okay, this is the, uh, the total medical life cycle. Okay, so I don't want to put uh, too much of time here, right? And see, this much of uh, research has been done. Right? With respect to the application of A, with respect to diagnosis of diabetics. Right? Here I have uh, got these details from 2014 only. So many research papers are there. Right? Right? Okay? And uh, here, and most of the work is what? Uh, structured based only. Right? Structured based only means what? Uh, uh, and uh, most of the data will be in image form. Say for example, they will give you a chest x-ray, right? They will give you, uh, what I have to say, radiology x-rays. So through image only, they have uh, did a lot of uh, uh, research, right? They have made a very, 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 very few steps in water with respect to MLP. Right? It's absolutely true. But today, for you people only, I studied something which is related to clinical uh, notes. Then I developed my own program towards all these things and I am going to share. 
you can't find whatever may be the thing that I am going to discuss in the literature. It's mainly one more. Okay. Yes. Now I am coming to my business. So, first my time I am. 10.35. So we started by around 10. 10. 35 minutes is just an introduction. Whether the introduction is okay? Can I come to my own area that is NLP? Now I am going to touch with respect to some basics towards NLP and then I will go to some kind of running exam. And then we will close and we will resume after T. Madam, how long I have to go? Up to 11, 11 10. So another 40 minutes. Please follow my lecture. You will know a little bit of text analytics. First I will explain with text analytics and then some examples related to it. text analytics. Then we will see a lot of algorithms. And then finally I will explain everything related to uh, medical diagnosis. Okay? Yes. The first thing is data. If you are going to do uh, ML or DL based projects, what kind of, in what kind of an application you are going to work? There are several applications. Each application takes its own data. Is it correct? For that you have to know on what data you are going to work. If I am going to ask this question to a mathematician, what is data? Then he or she will tell the data may be discrete data or continuous data. If I am going to ask this question, what is data? To a physicist, right? He or she may tell the data may be digital data or analog data. Is it correct? If I am going to ask this question to a social science researcher, he or she may say the data may be a primary data or secondary data. If I am going to ask what is data towards the computer science professionals, what is your answer? Why is it data? Level. So, everything in return, 